18 months ago, I walked along the street in the down moon. Why? Because firstly, I was just new to Edinburgh and I do not have lots of friends. Secondly, my family are 6,000 miles away from me. And finally, my relationship was at the, at the brink of a disaster. I, my mind was in a mess. And I went through an emotional roller coaster. When I walked, I saw a little girl in front of me. She dropped a coin, and the coin rolled and stopped in front of my feet. I picked up the coin, I dusted it off, and I gave it to her. She picked up the coin, and she smiled. Her smile was so sweet that at that moment, I felt everything will be alright. That little smile had given me a little strength and faith. And with that feeling, I continued my journey little by little, putting my life together, concentrating on my time and effort into growing myself, such as developing my communication and leadership skills. That smile, that little smile, that smile that had a little strength and faith, set a chapter in my life, a new chapter in my life. It started off with my progression in Toastmasters by saying yes to any challenges that I received. And because of that, I made lots of friends and had a fantastic opportunity to meet people like you all today. <laughs> and secondly, my sister now just lives 10 miles away from me. And we meet during weekends and occasionally during Toastmasters meetings. <laughs> Last but not least, I found a new relationship with myself. As I discover more about myself, I know that I have a vast amount of talent and ability for me to discover, for me to be discovered. <coughs> and it's far more meaningful than the relationship that I had previously. That smile has shined me. This is not a speech about three ways to smile. This is not a speech about three ways how to make people smile. But today, I'm going to tell you all how a little smile can make a huge difference in life, not only to yours, but others around you. The book that I'm holding here is called The Key to Living the Law of Attraction, a simple guide to create a life of your dreams. It was written by Jack Canfield who is an author of another world-famous book called Chicken Soup for the Soul. Chapter 12 in this book, titled Attitude, says, Your attitude can make or break any situation. You can have a positive attitude about the events in your life, or you can come from a place of complaint and misery. Canfield continue by saying that attitude is crucial it affects your emotion, and your emotion in turn affects at the energy field around you, and simultaneously place your order with the universe for more of the same. What he actually meant was, if you face a situation with complaint and misery, it is complaint and misery and sadness that you will get from the outcome of the situation. Likewise, it's true if you face the situation in a positive attitude. Let me share with you all a story. In my university years, I have two friends with extreme characters. In this story, I'm going to call one of my friends the sad friend, <laughs> and the other the happy friend. My sad friend always complains about why the university syllabus is so difficult. Complain about why the UK weather is cold windy and wet. And he complained about food. Why is it plain? It's not spicy? It's not delicious? Why? 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 He's so full of misery that everyone do not want to be friends with him. Well, except for me. <laughs> in the end, he did not get the most out of the situation, out of his life in UK. And he did not progress much in his life either. But 
on the other hand, my happy friend is always grateful in any situation that he encounters. I feel good to be with him, so do many people. Smile, green and beam. Other facial expression you can always expect from him. There were times where he received assignments with short deadline. He smiled. Because he's such, he's such a good person that people would like to help him. And he manages his situation way out. And there were times where he received job application rejection. He smiled. He tried again and again, and after 60 applications, he managed to get a job. Finally, he got a good university degree, and now he's working with a multinational corporation back home in Malaysia, getting good pay, and has fantastic opportunity to travel around the world. His positive attitude and his smile has shined his way through the situation. Financial crisis, remember to smile. Work problem, remember to smile. Relationship disaster, remember to smile. <laughs> smile regardless of the situation. I am myself no expert in terms of smiling in any situation, but I try my best by knowing that if I can smile my way through it, I will be successful in the end. Smile is good. Smile is beautiful, and smile is powerful. Everyone, please take a deep breath and repeat after me. Let us smile and shine. Let us, Let us smile, smile and shine. shine.